Hi, it's Sandy Parker and welcome to Crafting for Almost Everyone. So today we're going to be doing a wreath that's for my girlfriend who has a red, white, and blue themed room and I thought this would look really cute in it because it's kind of, um, you know, like that shabby chic red, white, and blue look. And so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using peg stamps. I saw Lindsay, the frugal crafter, stamp her uh, clothespins with these peg stamps. And I thought that's a genius idea because on another YouTube channel, I saw, it was, I think it was called uh, Country Magazine. I'll put that down below. I'm sorry, I can't remember the name of the magazine. But they have a YouTube channel and uh, they made just a plain a wreath made out of clothespins and I thought this would be really cute if I did um, Americana, 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 that's how you say it, themed, um, that's my plan, Americana theme and I thought I would do the heart that has the stars in it and also the stars. So I wanted to practice first and what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave my clothespins on the little piece of paper that it comes in. Oh, I bought these at the Dollar Tree and I bought two packs of them because uh, I think it was Country Sampler. Oh, I'm making it up now. The magazine that had the YouTube channel, um, they, they had um, said that you would use 60 of the clothespins. So I bought two packs at Dollar Tree. So I have two dollars invested in those. Plus I have another two dollars invested in my, I think this is a 12 inch wreath form. It might be a little bigger than that. And then I'm going to be doing a bow. And the bow I also got at the Dollar Tree. Well not the bow, but the ribbon. I also got at the Dollar Tree. And it is lost currently. I had it. Oh there it is. I don't know why I lose things. It's right here, right in front of me. It's this burlap, frayed burlap ribbon. I also got that Dollar Tree, so I'm not sure if I'm going to add another blue ribbon to that or not, but right now, that's my plan. Is So, all in all, we have, I don't know, one, two, three, about five dollars invested in our wreath, which isn't much. So, it's a good gift in my in keeping with my plan for inexpensive um, easy gifts for the holidays I think I'm gonna zoom this zoom in so you can see this I'm not gonna make you watch me do a few thousand of these because that would just be cruel and unusual punishment but I do think it would make sense for me to let you see me do a couple of them so we're gonna go with the darker navy and we're gonna go with the red. So I can do one whole row. I'm going to do this row of stars. Make sure I'm in the camera. Um, I would zoom out just a little bit. Okay. That way you'll be able to see everything really well. Okay. I am going to turn these as I go because I want to make sure that I really cover the whole I'm covering all of my clothespin if I can or as much of it as I can and let's turn that one a little bit so I can get the end of it I like this. I think this is going to look really cute when I'm done. I hope it does anyway. That's my plan. These peg stamps work so well and that uh, line if you've never used them, there's a line at the bottom right there that tells you exactly where the bottom of the stamp, 
the um, stamped images so you never have to worry am I stamping this correctly or not because you know exactly where that is and the nice thing about it is that um, I I don't make any mistakes like I normally would have okay so I'm gonna keep going I'm gonna do um, as I said roughly 60 of these and then I'll be back I wanted to go over the the blue one with you just so you kind of saw what I had to do to fill in with it I'm turning it in a bunch of different directions some of them are going off and the very bottom one I try to keep on so then what I did was I kind of touched the side of it where all the stripes are and the bottom of it into the spots on the side that are missing anything and that way I kind of filled my whole clothespin up. I think they look really cute. I'm really happy with them and I did find some that were really kind of flawed that where the wood was uh, divoted out so I just flipped it over and those ones came out fine. So I'm going to continue on and now I'm going to be into the red and the red's a lot easier because you don't have the problem with um, your pattern being too big and you, I don't know if you can see this you see there's a, a line on this clothespin I what I realize is if you have a line like that it's either a bump or a divot either way flip it over and go to the other side because I've had better success when I did that and the other thing I had better success with is by just kinda going side to side with the stars and that way I can cover the whole um, the whole clothespin with it and then if I miss I just do that where I just kind of go to the side and see I have a little boo-boo on that one I can just turn it over and see if the other side looks better because of the amount of time it takes to do the other side I haven't uh, I haven't minded doing that at all and it's been very very fast so um, doing 60 of these I thought would take me a while and I think it's going to take me maybe 10 minutes so that's where we stand I'll keep doing the red ones and I'll be back when I'm finished so the first pin that you put in you're gonna you're going to put over the inside two and as close to this bar as you can then the next one you're gonna put on the second and third one and then you're going to repeat the red one is going to go into the inner one like that and then the blue one goes into those two and you want them as tight together as you can get them these are the things you never see in videos you know you never see the things that I have questions about These are the questions I have. These are the days of our lives. Did you watch that show? I don't even know if it's still on. When I was a kid, my mother watched that show constantly. She loved it. She was obsessed with it. And then there was, I was like three or four hours in a row that she and her girlfriends would watch those shows constantly. She loved them. It's kind of cool. Those days are gone, you know, that where people do that kind of stuff. I'm moving these out around a little bit so that it's got a little edge there. This doesn't take very long to do. I was really surprised at how long it took me to do the um, stamping. Hardly any time at all. I'm going to keep going and I'll come back when I get closer to the end because I don't think you need to see me do more than that much. That is, I'm already, what, a third, fourth of the way done? Not too shabby. I'll be back. So here it is. I'm going to lift it up so you can see it maybe a little bit better. It's hard to see, I think, the pattern. Maybe you can see it in that light okay. But I think it looks really cute so far. I'm going to take a couple of the pins off and then I'm going to make a bow. Okay, so I thought I would make my bow out of burlap and it's from the Dollar Tree. So it's really um, 
like really frayed burlap. It's not it's not pretty burlap. So I'm going to use about a six inch piece and I'm going to just run a dollop of glue. I can push my little glue stick in there. There we go. I'm just going to run it in there. Ouch. What else is new? Got to burn yourself at least once when you do this, right? Okay. So that's going to be one side of my bow. I'm not worried that it's not glued, you know, the whole way across because I'm going to be doing something else on that on the center of it. Then we're going to do the other side. Second verse, same as the first. Watch me burn myself a second time. That was nice. I just got a big string of this to come off. Okay. So those are my two pieces. Then I'm going to take a thin piece. I'll have to cut a thin piece. It doesn't have to be horribly long. I would say maybe four inches, three inches. We're going to go with maybe that many. It's about probably about four. Let me cut it. I'll be off screen for just a second. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two pieces, lay them on top of each other. I'm going to glue them just because it'll make it easier to play with them if I have them both glued together like that. Okay. Then I'm going to take them. Okay, now the glue's on me mostly. I'm going to take them and I'm going to kind of scrunch them together like that. See that? So that the bow in the center is scrunched. I'm going to put that piece that I just cut on the front, wrap it around to the back, and pull it tight as tight as I can without burning my hands off. Let's see, if I need to re-tighten it, I can do that. Uh, pinch it a little bit more like that. So I'm going to put a little bit more glue in there. Yeah, this is where the this is where the ugliness happens. This is where I start to cry probably. See how I did with pinching that, and then I'm just going to take my scissors, press it down on top of itself like that. Now let's see how we did. That's not bad. I am going to trim up the raw edges, like up here and down here. I don't like having all that. So let me trim that up, and I'll be right back. So now I have my uh, tails of my bow that I just cut uh, thinner strips of and I'm going to cut them and or, um, glue them to the back of my bow like that so that they look good. Hopefully. I'm going to put the glue right on that strip like that and hopefully I can get them to glue on so they're straight. I'm going to cut off this excess that's on the back that you can see. We don't want that. All right. I think it's okay. I might have to play with it a little bit once we get it on, but I think it looks best right there or down here. I think I'm going to go down at the bottom. And I do have some glue pieces on there that I'm going to get off, but for right now, I'm not worried about it. I'm also going to I'm going to glue that piece over a little bit more because it's starting to bug me that it's not exactly straight. And I'm not going to touch it because you know if I touch it I'm going to burn myself because of where it's placed. There. Now I'll put some glue on the back. And we should be ready to go. OK, 
Okay, I'm going to put that right there. Hopefully, it'll stay. See it? I'll hold it up for you so you can see the whole bow. Got glue strings going everywhere. And I'm going to trim off these edges and I'll come back with it hanging on the wall. So here's our wreath all hanging on the wall. My walls are a, a rich gold color, but for some reason the lights make it look a little weird. But I'm going to show it to you very close up so you can see the designs on each of the clothespins. And then we get down to our burlap bow. And now Honey's having to drink a water right beside me, so sorry about that. You have a little water. And that is our wreath. I really hope you like this one. I thought it was a lot of fun. It's very easy. Those peg stamps make it a cinch. Thanks so much for watching. Please give this a thumbs up and subscribe. Merry Christmas. Bye-bye.